in Lizzo. <lacht> Windscreen's really, really yeah. close, isn't it? Um, welcome to a what was it 1968? 68, but you've had it in your family since 70, Four. 74. 74, 74, mate. We'll get this, uh, get this seatbelt <laughs> on. Nice little racing red seatbelt here. We it's like that, mate. It's quite it's all right, it's right, that, isn't it? Performance based uh, seatbelts because, of course, from the factory, this wouldn't have come with seatbelts, would it? No. <laughs> Right, well, what we're gonna do while starting the video is me trying to drive this. Yeah. <laughs> so, four speed on the floor yep. and all that. I bought me small uh, shoes today, just yeah, in case. Yeah, probably a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Is that neutral? Yeah. It's like that in like gear it. as well, though. Yeah, is it? Oh yeah. my God, it is as well. Wow. <laughs> okay. The clutch is very on and off. Oh, the clutch is high, isn't it? Yeah. We'll try that again, lads. Oh, wow, the clutch is yeah. so high. There's, um, it's like so there's so much distance between yeah. the uh the actual placing of the foot all the way down yeah. and the actual release of the clutch it goes up like that as well yeah. towards you well the engine on the so back, random it? yeah but like it runs all the cables along the floor doesn't yeah, it? yeah but that's like the most random thing the indicator here we go try and get that clutch up again oh yes so the reason we're doing this video today is because this is your first car Yep. And it's a car that's actually been in your family for years and years and years yep. and years. And the, the one thing we have to talk about is classic cars as your first car. How do you feel about that as a person that obviously owns a yeah. you know, 60s Beetle as their classic car? How are you finding it, mate? I'll be honest, people think it's unpractical. I love every single bit yeah, of it. You, you love it. You learn to compromise. <laughs> but it's, it's just a good bit of fun, isn't it? More I was going to say, you take out your mates in it, you're going to have fun. Clutch again, there it is. There you Once you start going though, it's actually all right. You, oh, it's yeah, not that it's hard to do, but it's um, the clutch because because you haven't driven, I suppose, many newer cars. The clutch comes yeah. towards you like that, which of course is a characteristic of this Beetle yeah. that you will notice that no one else young wouldn't that you wouldn't notice it, would you? Because you uh, oh, you would take him. You I wouldn't notice, would you, if you had never driven a classic car like this? I mean, I took it out as soon as I passed the test. Yes, what did you write? And uh, what did you learn to drive it? That's I... the question. I think it was a key for cancer. See, completely night and yeah. day between the two. So let's talk about this being your first car and yeah. insurance, because that's one of the things that I'm assuming a few people that are watching this would yeah. want to know about, because I would want to know about that as well. I'd want yeah. to know how cheap it really is to run a car like this, because insurance-based um, policies, when you are young, are incredibly expensive. Yeah. So how much do you pay Well, I'm doing this? full comprehensive monthly with all the with basic everything. Tidbits. Yeah, I'm paying £700. £700 uh, yeah. pound a year, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that. So, seven hundred pound a year on your own. Yep, on, my on own. your own. No years, with, no claims. With everything attached. So, if you think about it that way, no MOT. No MOT. Because it is ta uh, MOT exempt. Yeah. It is tax exempt as well. You're living yeah. the dream here, mate. Because it's, it's incredibly cheap. Well. How? What MPG you get? Or how much is it to fill the tank? Do we know? Uh, I think it's about forty odd quid. But 40 I don't. Quid. I don't have a fuel gauge that works. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> so it might go. Oh yeah, I was going to say the fuel gauge is actually moving as yeah. we move. <laughs> it's just like nah, like this. So if, you, if you're young and you want yeah. a classic car and you want to get or you want to get into a car and you can uh, not necessarily stomach, but you can get on with a classic car when you're young. Yeah. The Beetle is up there, isn't it, mate? I'd, it's de I'd definitely with... put it. It's a little bit more expensive when you do the initial purchase. Yeah, because they are actually quite yeah. expensive these days, aren't but they? This is a first year of the late models. Yeah. Which are the cheaper, per se. Yeah. So but... you could. How much is one of these these days? How much? 
If someone, if I was going to go and buy one of these tomorrow, how much are they? Do you I'd probably put. I've seen a nice seventy-one for about forty-five hundred quid. So, say five grand, you can yeah. get yourself in one of these. They're reliable. They're reliable. Never very reliable. Down. If it does go wrong, you'll learn very quickly what yeah. goes wrong very quick. It, it's so simple. Like the engine bay is the most simplest thing going. If it goes wrong, you know that it's gone wrong because you're able to see what's wrong. Yeah. I think parts are cheap. Yep. You know, they're not that rotten, any of them really. This one, you know, we have a few pictures of when you actually yeah. got it and it's, you know, it was all right. It was, you know, it was easy to get it yeah. back on the road, but not too rotten out. I mean, engine wise and all that, when we first got the car, well, we had to brand new battery and just started it first time. Really? Yeah, and that was on 13 year old fuel. It's just so good, isn't it? Even when we're braking, I have to position my yeah, foot like this. It's funny, isn't it? I, I drive a lot of cars, and you you forget to notice what classic cars are like. And I drive a lot of classic cars as well, and it's just funny that everything's sort of at this position. The, the throttle's like this, but yeah, oh mate, for your ankles and like the, the ridge at the top yeah. of your foot, it's like such a workout. But rewarding in the sense that you get to sort of enjoy changing gear, and yeah. I don't think a lot of people will enjoy changing gear when they're young these days. Yeah. You're, you're, you said you're 19. 19, yeah. And I don't think there's many 19 year olds out there that are going to buy a classic car. So I would probably say more people need to go out there and for one, understand how cheap it is to own yeah. a classic car. It's incredibly cheap to own. Yes, it might go wrong, so that might cost you money, but this isn't that expensive to keep going, so that's fine. Yeah. And I think for a young person especially, to own and enjoy something like this, when you do jump in a newer car, you'll really understand yeah. like what driving is all about and the, the struggle of getting the heating going and the struggle of if it does break down, fixing it by the side of the road in like 10 minutes time. It is, um, I, I like it for that. And I, I, yeah. pref I, I think I prefer, like I, I started life in a course of CMA, like, like 2003 one. I wish I'd have bought something older now driving this because it would have been a bit more of an experience, I think. I love yeah. old car. I love old cars, and I just don't think there's many people out there that are enjoying old cars when they're young, like you used to back in the day. I think it's fun when you go out with your mates and all that, and you start you start walking back and forth, going, "Come on, let's get a bit yeah. quicker." You know, let's go, let's go. But getting up to the speed yeah, limit is always a challenge. It's still fun to drive, though. You yeah. put your foot down, oh, yeah. and you actually do get quite a bit of a little response out of it. Yeah, there it is. But between first and second, you get it right up to the red limit. So. <laughs> and it brings the smile to your face. <laughs> it, don't get me wrong, yeah. we're not actually going fast whatsoever, oh, no. but you do not need to go fast in this thing. We do like 35, and it's like such an event, and it's so exciting. The yeah. engine's behind you, like, it's just a bit more of a raw experience of driving. I like it for that, mate. I like the rawness of, uh, of everything. Plus, it's actually, you know, considering you've got no door cards and stuff, it's yeah. actually really nice in here like, to drive. Steering wheel's nice as well, I like this. I like You'll say that was fit back in the 80s. Back in the 80s, mate, we like it. So yeah, I think if anybody out there wanted to get a classic car, you'd say Beetle, wouldn't oh, you? Oh yeah, happily. You know, you'd that say Beetle. Classic Mini. Yeah, a Classic Mini would be a good shout. Again, something I've never driven, and the Classic Mini was actually something I yeah. wanted back in the day. But yeah, I think, mate, you're doing well, eh? Oh, and, yeah. and your plan is to actually restore this completely yeah. over the next couple of years and just enjoy it. But it's been in your family for so long that of course, you're gonna want it, yeah. which is it is exactly it. So, well, I yeah, first mate. did work on this when I was 13. 13? So. Wow, yeah. that's good. And then you've sort of seen it that whole time yeah. and gone, I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna get that, I want it, I want it. I used no, to like spend that. many evenings talking to my mates and I go, and you know, eventually it's gonna be on the road, you know, yeah. it's gonna get You there. watch this, it's coming, it's coming, and here it is, mate. We're driving it today. Anyway, thank you very much for letting me drive it. I no appreciate worries, that no big worries. time. A lot of um, nostalgia for you as owning this throughout yeah. the family, which is really cool. And again, guys, if you want something like this, go out there and try and have a little low, nose round, try and find a non-rusty yeah. one, I suppose, isn't it? That's always the hard. Yeah, it's always hard to find a non-rusty car, old car, don't get me wrong. So as long as it's got a solid floor, it's a good car. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. But if the jack don't go through it, yeah. you're solid, mate, you're good. <laughs>